What's happening, guys? Welcome back to a Therapeutic Edge. It is nice to have you here. I have got something else on the table from Beyond EDC. Uh, this is one of their asymmetrical line. Uh, this happens to be a Pinkerton design. I love Pinkerton knives. I do. And this is no exception. This is called the Chunk. And yes, it is. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's S35VN, it's all titanium running on ceramic bearings. It is a frame lock, uh, got a nice milled titanium pocket clip. Interesting design, which is these two, like the pivot and this sort of large screw in the back, which matches, all of these are the same, right? So it matches the thumb studs, which is very cool. Action is very good, the close profile is very cool looking. Uh, when I first saw this at Blade West, I thought it was a little tight, but you know what? That is a really nicely sized knife. The folks over at Beyond EDC have decided to go big. Now they've got a great budget line. We have some of them here, uh, which I'll be sharing a little further down the road, but I wanted to focus on first the River Wolf, which you may have seen a little earlier this week, and now this, because these are amazing. Now you guys have heard me go on and on about how I miss the sort of 2017-2018 Kaiser knives right? Big slabs of titanium, big blades, not ridiculously expensive, good materials, well-made, all that, right? Beyond EDC has got a bunch of knives out now that hit all of those bells, only they're just a little better than the old Kaisers. Stuff like the grind on this, this super tall flat grind comes down to an absolute razor's edge. Uh, there's not a lot of marking on the blade, right? Just the, uh, the Dirk Pinkerton design logo, S35VN, uh, what is that? Serial number, which is useful, and then the asymmetrical logo, which I think, I'm not sure, but I think the asymmetric line is the Pinkerton line inside of Beyond. I'll have to confirm that. Anyway, let's take a look at what you get on this fantastic, chunky knife. You get three and a quarter inches of cutting on just about three and a half inches of S35VN. The grip area from behind that choil is three and a half, if we lock it up, it is three and a half inches, which is, if I hold it here, it's perfect. If I was to really, you know, baseball bat grip it, it's a little tight for me, but uh, still very comfortable. The way this grip is set up, man, this knife is not going anywhere. It just locks in. Because of the design, you can come forward. This is a marvelous working tool in the kitchen if you need it to be. Although, you can't really get it flat, but there's plenty of belly up here, so you can cut vegetables or packages or open up people that are pissing you off. I mean, um, <laughs> whatever. You get what I'm getting at. It has really nice features. It's not a tremendously big knife. We're coming in at seven and three quarters inches overall, which is nicely sized. However, it is a tall boy. If we don't include the flipper tab, you're looking at over an inch and a half up here at the top. If we bring that flipper tab in, you're looking at an inch and three quarters, which means even for me, right, big, big jeans, big pockets, this is pretty much all you're going to be carrying in that front right pocket. Uh, it is a reversible clip. You can see there's this little tab right here, which is nice. You can remove that and flip the clip, but again, because it's a frame lock, you're not really going to be able to change much except what side the clip rides on. But that's cool for the lefties out there. I've seen a lot of lefties that are very fast with that. There is a steel lock bar insert, but the lockup is very early on this knife. We're looking at about 20%. And yet still, it's not going anywhere. I have done all of the right slappy, knocky stuff and doesn't want to pop open. So even though it's a very early lockup, it's locked up tight. The blade came just dead centered. I love this clean, sort of elegant design, right? It's got a little backspacer back here, quarter of the knife. Just enough, I imagine, to hold things together. The blade, of course, you can't get to it anywhere, so you don't have to worry about it cutting you. It's got a nice little landing spot back here for your, you know, for your face. so you do the right, pop. Yeah, it gives you a little spot, it's nice. The thumb studs are low key, but they work beautifully. Oops, <laughs> unless you're on camera. 
Oh man, that's embarrassing. Anyway, when I'm standing around fidgeting the damn thing, it works just fine. When am I gonna learn? Never try to do that on camera. <laughs> I wonder if I can flick it. Oh yeah. Watch that. Right? Thumb studs work beautifully, my clumsy fingers notwithstanding. Uh, it is a very straightforward design, right? Clean, plain tie, nothing fancy, but done very well. I gotta say, the folks at Beyond EDC are just killing it lately. It makes me super happy. Hello, women carry knives. What's going on? Oh, that's my favorite knife. This, in fact, is your knife. I borrowed it for the review. You don't mind, do you? Absolutely not. That's very nice. Thank you. All right, let's see. I'm going to say, yeah, uh, about three and a half millimeters of S35VN. It's a reasonably nice slice. The uh, handle itself at its thickest spot, 12.36 millimeters or just shy of a half inch. However, closed is, as I said, a different animal. Uh, yeah, we're looking at an inch and a half right through there. Still, that's very Dirk Pinkerton, and it is very cool. Let's go ahead and weigh it out, because I'm curious. Curious George. Stand by, technical difficulties. Hey, look at that. 4.2. 4.6. Good guess, though. Close. You were close. By way of example, the uh, the Artisan Ferrum Forge Valor is 4.7. So, they're very similar. There is another Dirk Pinkerton design that I may get to in a few weeks. We'll see. Um, I like it quite a bit, but this was my favorite, right, of the two. Um, between this and the River Wolf that I reviewed a little earlier this week, if you haven't watched that, go back and do it. Beyond EDC has absolutely come out of the gate swinging. <laughs> I love this thing. Anyway, this is the Beyond EDC chunk under the, code, the sort of sub-label of Asymmetrical. I'll figure all that out as we go along. Asymmetrical is just Dirk Pinkerton's name within the brand, right? I believe so. I believe so, yeah. yeah. So maybe there'll be more asymmetrical stuff coming out down the road. You get a nice little zipper case. Action is so good on this, it's ridiculous. Nice little zipper case. My knives are getting bigger. It's got belt stuff on it, in case you wanted to put the belt, the zipper case on your, don't do that. Anyway, gang, this phenomenal piece of knife has been the Beyond EDC chunk. I have been a therapeutic edge. I've been women carry knives. That has been women carry knives, and it's been an absolute pleasure to have you here today. Take care. We'll see you next time.